Experts are divided over the passage of the Chartered Institute of Computer Forensics of Nigeria and other related matters bill. Some of the experts who attended a public hearing on the bill spoke in favor of its passage, while others spoke against it. One of the supporters is the president of the Chartered Institute of Computer Forensics of Nigeria, Professor Peter Olaiwola, who is advocating a speedy passage. This two bill have scaled first and second reading in the House, but there is the need to get an expert view before giving a full verse of the law. Chairman of the committee, Honorable Benila, says the bill could not have come at a better time like this, when the country is faced with different forms of cybercrime and criminality, as well as youth restiveness due to lack of job. Because of the critical role of computer forensics in crime detection, reliable based evidence prosecution and balanced judicial pronouncements, this bill could not have come at a better time than now that the nation is faced with a myriad of security challenges. The bill seeks to provide electronic evidence in solving all manners of crimes without exception. The speaker who was represented by Deputy Majority Leader, Honorable Peter Batterson, expressed his desire that the bill when passed will address the concerns of citizens. Both of these bills contain important provisions and seek to make long-lasting changes. They are also both establishment bills that will impose significant and long-standing financial obligations on the public house. For that reason alone, if nothing else, they deserve our thorough appraisal. Sponsors of the bill gave synopsy on the bill and while it must be passed now. Um, the question normally by Nigerians these days is that why establishment bills? Let me make it clear from the beginning that this one is not going to draw a cobble from the coffers of the federal government of Nigeria. This bill is not going to add weight to the already uh, heavy wage bill that we are going through in this country. Speaking in support of the bill, Professor Peter Olayinwole espoused its benefits, saying it will reduce the country's over-dependence on foreign technology, whereby encouraging indigenous technology. I'm sure all of us are aware of certain black males that are going on on social media and in real life. We now have situations whereby somebody who is going to sleep with a woman, after sleeping with the woman, she will, I mean, he will take a video of the woman, um, of when they were having fun, and post it on social media. Now, how does that type of person, the lady, or even, because the case can be the other way around, how does that person, the agreed person, how does she seek redress, how, how does she seek protection? This is one of the reasons why we need, we need a chartered institute of computer forensics of Nigeria. The bill will be considered for passage at the Committee of Whole when all the views from the public would have been properly aggregated. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.